Welcome to the introductory lesson on factoring quadratic expressions. When we factor a quadratic expression into two binomials, it is important to keep in mind how we multiply binomials. Just like knowing 6 times 9 is 54 helps us factor 54. Knowing that x plus 3 quantity squared equals x squared plus 6x plus 9 helps us factor x squared plus 6x plus 9. So let's start our exploration by multiplying x minus 3 times x plus 8. I'm going to do this using the box method. So x times x is x squared, x times 8 is 8x, x times negative 3 is negative 3x, and negative 3 times 8 is negative 24. Now let's try factoring x squared plus 5x minus 24. The key to factoring this trinomial is to look at the first and last terms. So I'm going to place them in my box. The process that we're about to try works best when the coefficient in front of x squared is 1. Okay, let's look at x squared. Well, that had to have originally been x times x because those are the only two factors of x squared. Now we're going to look at the negative 24. That was gotten by multiplying two numbers together. We'll call those a and b. Well, Assuming I didn't know what a and b were, I would need to list all the possible combinations that when I multiply them together, I get negative 24. So that would be 1 times negative 24 and negative 1 times 24, 2 times negative 12, negative 2 times 12, 3 times negative 8, negative 3 times 8, 4 times negative 6, and last, negative 4 times 6. Now I've got all my possible factors. The next step is to try and determine which of these factors would have given us a middle term of 5x. If I continued to fill out my box, I would have had ax and bx, but really I'm only interested in the coefficients. So the middle term's coefficient is found by adding a and b together. So in this case, we know that a plus b needs to equal 5. So to find the multiples that solve this problem, I would simply add a and b until I get to 5. So that would give me what, negative 23, 23, negative 10, 10, negative 5, 5. And if I was to do the last two, I would get negative 2 and 2. When I find the sum that we're looking for, in this case 5, we don't actually need to continue. So now we've found our values for a and b. That means the factors of x squared plus 5x minus 24 are x plus 8 and x minus 3. To check our answer, we can simply finish multiplying the problem out. And we can see when we do that, we get back to the original problem. After you practice for a while, it'll become easier and easier to find the correct values of a and b.